Hello, 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 guys. Today is going to be a game changer. Hold on one second. All right. Here we go, guys. Today, I want to talk about issues with big companies taking advantage of us small companies. And it is a serious issue that is constantly going on in this country. And the government sits back and supports it. All right? So, let's get started. We have companies like Shopify, Google, uh, AT&T, uh, Comcast, Xfinity, uh, these ABCO, Federal Credit Savings Bank. These people are taking advantage of small minority owners of, uh, you know, they are constantly keeping... Let's, let's put it this way. Um, Facebook takes advantage with their ad program. I'm paying for what you say, uh, let's say that, um, you know, uh, they monitor everything that's going on, but Facebook don't see when your situations are, being, are not being account accounted for. I paid thousands of dollars for advertising to be called a nigger, a negro, a monkey. These are the type of responses I got and I had to pay for them. Where was the Facebook monitoring there? It wasn't there. You have companies like Shopify who are presenting themselves to uneducated, some are educated, but minorities that think that they're going into this package and everything is going to be okay and perfect, and then they abandon you once you're there and you get stuck with all these fees. Everybody's making money except you. Chargebacks. You're not making any money. They're making money. I don't see how, I've I, I, I been trying to understand it myself. Now, being a person that is now dealing with these issues, first of all, guys, I need you to, I need you to share my video. I need you to like it. I need you to comment. If you are a minority owner, if you are a black owner, a Hispanic owner, a female owner of a business, I need you to share this live. Please share this live. Know this. There are one and every five businesses being bullied by bigger companies. Bigger companies are shutting down small businesses. Because they are using bully techniques to shut you down. They're not giving you the resources that you are paying for. They're not making themselves available for the assistance that they are supposed to give you. But they will give you those challenges and leave you out there to suffer, to drown. And while you're trying to keep your business at bay, there's always another Step, you have to jump. I'm talking to the family guy who has three kids and a wife. And he gets up every day to run his family business. To support his daughter. To support his little baby. His son. I'm talking about the single mother out there. Who has four kids because the husband left her. And now she has a small business that she's running. And not only was she bullied by her own husband, but now she's being bullied by the system. I'm talking to the person that just got out of jail who had no means to get a job. So he found his own way, honestly. And then you have the bigger companies Creating obstacles in your way to block you. 
I'm talking to the person who has seen the uh, 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 the Shopify ads or the platform ads or the e-commerce ads that are out there that are constantly luring you in with the drive of get rich and have your own independence and your own company. Everything is set up for you. Please do not believe the lies. On the front end, they're shutting you down. On the back end, they're making money off of you. And they are working together. And the government does nothing about it. Nothing. Small businesses, what, what, what about the bailout? The COVID situation. The small businesses didn't get any money. It was the bigger businesses that got it. And what breaks did they give to the, the consumer? None. I'm a consumer. My bill was high when we was locked down during the COVID times. I don't see at and didn't give me a break. Verizon didn't give me a break. Oh, they sent me emails. They implied they were going to do it. They did nothing. They did nothing. Now people are getting put out of their homes. Why these businesses swallow up all the government funds. People are being forced in landlord tenant courts. They can't pay their rent because they couldn't get a job. You know why? These small companies, they, these, these big companies, they survived it. Because the government bailed them out. Money they were supposed to give back to the consumer, but they did not. Is your pockets lined? I don't think so. Are you doing better? I don't think so. I mean, look. The unemployment rate seems to have dropped. That's what they tell us. That's what they show us. Has it really dropped? I don't think so. Please listen, share this video because it don't just affect small minority business owners. It also affects the poor families who are out here trying to survive. Everyday Americans who don't have a job, whether they're white or they're black or Hispanic, we're all suffering the same uh, the same ordeal. There are no resources out here because the resources are what? They are directed to the big box companies. And those big box companies are not sending that blessing back down to the consumer. They're giving us higher prices. They're shutting off our services and they are being disrespectful and they bully us. And the threat is that we need them to survive. We need them to run our business phone lines. We need them to process our credit cards. We need them to input our banking information. We need them to put ourselves in the front to advertise. So they use that to their advantage and they bully us. They threaten to shut us down. They take every dime from our pockets. Trust me, I know. I run a decent business online called Carter Breedle's Urban Fashions. The idea is to bring chic and trendy clothing and other accessories at an affordable rate. At that affordable rate, I'm being cost. My orders don't get shipped because somebody... I don't know, but that information is not sent back to me. And I take the brunt of the loss of that. We need to understand, I need small businesses to want to be a part of this. If you hear me, somebody, I need you to hit the like button. I need you to hit the share button. And I need you to send me some hearts. Tell me what we can do over here. We have a caller online. We have a caller online. Jessica. Hey. Hey. What do you think, how do you feel about these big box companies that are bullying small businesses? Right. What do you think we can do about that? About what? Big box companies. 
that are bullying small businesses to the point that small businesses are breaking up. They are losing their business and they are shutting down. Didn't you call in from the shelf? Huh? Didn't you call in from the shelf? Did I call you up? I thought you called in from the shelf. From the shelf. I'm, 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 we're, on, we're live right now, I'm Jessica. Oh, okay. So I'm asking you, what is your take on the situation? Oh, it's up. All right. Have you had any experiences in that? No, but something needs to be done. Well, let me ask you a question, right? You were a consumer of PayPal, right? I was. All right. And what happened with PayPal? Did they bully you, take your money? Did they shut you out? Did, what did they do? Yes, they actually did. All right. They closed my account. And they closed your account. All right. So explain to me this. Why is, why is Facebook, who is a money transmitter, posing as a default bank and operating as a bank? Oh, they are. There are no means for redress there. Facebook, PayPal does what the fuck it wants to do. And I would advise anybody, take your money away from uh, PayPal, period. Get yeah. your money away from them. It is not about you. They will shut you down and they will take your money. So, and all of these, and they own a lot of companies that they are associated with. Facebook will censor what you put on live, what you put out there. But guess what? You can pay for an ad with Facebook, and people like I've experienced can get on your, your ad, call you a nigger, and guess what? Facebook is not going to censor that. They're going to charge you for it. I was charged twelve dollars because a woman called, got on my post, and called me a monkey, a white woman. What? Oh yeah, remember? Oh no, remember the post, Jessica, that you was a part of, and that you went in and you said something. Yeah. All right, that guy, he was also being racist. Am I correct? Yes. I was paid. I was charged outrageous fees for an ad, and that all I received in response was a bunch of negative. Uh, 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 impact from white folks. But when a black man gets out there, when a minority gets out there on their post and they say something, oh, they're censored. Oh, their accounts blocked. Oh, they're suspended. Facebook sees what it wants to see and ignores what it doesn't. If your ads don't get seen, Facebook don't let your ads be seen. Well, I mean, that's what they're doing. I mean, they did nothing about it. I called my girlfriend a bitch only playing, and they, uh, 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 you know, they suspended my account for four days. Yeah, or you, or you got the women that are half-dudes showing their ass, and about that. Well, hold on, let me tell you this. I am not allowed, because of Facebook's uh, policy, I can't advertise a male in underwear. I can't advertise a female wearing lingerie because it supposedly implies or suggests sex. But wait a minute. That's funny. But every... Right. You know what I'm about to say. The profile that I follow, her name is Jennifer Ross. Uh-huh. And that's all Sweetie, she can you give me a napkin or something? Well, I thought it would be the same idea, but here's this. Let's look at the, let, white. That's the thing. White, exactly. But let's look at the live videos that they have, the stories. I see people posting pictures and videos of their anatomy. Now, though some of those pictures are quite um, uh, entertaining, honey, I would still suggest that it implies or it suggests sex. But you allow those videos and things to go on. But I can't sell or I can't advertise a man in underwear if I'm selling underwear. Does that make sense, people? No, and they need to make it make sense. If they need to make it make sense. 
I need people to tune in. I need them to like this post. I need you guys to share it. If you are the single mother out there who's baking cookies for Sunday and to sell them at a church conference, I need you to tune in. Because those dollars that you're making, the big box companies are shutting you out. You're on live right now? We live now, Jessica. All right, I'm over. Thank you, Jess. Please. I'm trying to form a network, a network of small black-owned businesses, a network of small minority owners to come together to pull their resources so we can fight the big box companies. Yes. Actually, won a thirty-three million dollar lawsuit against Facebook. I'm sure he'd be happy to speak with you. Well, I'm gonna tell you this: PayPal should be watching itself because they are limiting many companies' funds, and I only need ten people, ten companies to follow suit, and that could be a class action against PayPal. And PayPal, what happens to you with a class action? You are shutting down businesses' uh, uh, profiles, and you are taking their money, making money on the back end, making money on the uh, chargebacks, and not giving them access to use their funds to operate and run their daily business. Okay. This is what PayPal does. And they give you a runaround. Let me explain this to you. Yesterday, at around 11 o'clock last night, I started a chargeback against Facebook. Because I've been paying Facebook thousands of dollars only for me to get results that somebody's calling me a nigger and they did nothing about censoring that. They allowed the people to come continue bullying. Wait, I submitted it to PayPal. Two hours later, PayPal said that they found in favor of Facebook. When in a hell does a chargeback Get completed in two hours. It never happens. Have you ever heard of going to PayPal and submitting a complaint and having it resolved in two hours? Never. Everything is always three to five business days. And then there's always something else. It's a scam. Either the big box companies are all working together. Well, you know what? They might be. There's this agency out there that Companies all pay into, all right? Companies like Google, companies like Xfinity, companies like uh, 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 Facebook, they pay into these companies to protect them against infringement on all type of legal things. Opt getting extra protection and allowing them the option and the power to do what they do, continue to bully not only the small business, but the consumers. Consumers out there who are struggling without a job, without the resources. The bailout is supposed to help us. But the bailout, I hope, who are they helping? Billionaires. Billion, are you a billionaire? I'm not a billionaire. You would think that in much taxes that you pay. It, it, helps, it helps billionaires, millionaires, as well. That's it. They will set you up lure you in, you think you're going to get something, and you're not getting anything. Nothing. How many people benefited from all the money the government gave away? I don't know that many. Do you? No. Where are you? No, I don't. Where are you live? Um, I'm on Facebook. But under what? Your uh, you can. Yeah, you should be able to see it there. Uh-huh. I don't see you live. It should be a post that says big businesses, bullying. You see it? See, maybe they're censoring me now. Blocking me. Companies, I see it, but it, yeah. Is it live? No. What do you mean is that live? You're not live. So it's, it's blocked? All I see is a YouTube link. All right, well, you hit the YouTube link, I'm live. Right, and it streams directly down to here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you click in? I see you now. All right. But Jessica, your input is very important because you are a valuable person. This, Jessica is a really, really good friend of mine. And we have had many discussions about starting different businesses. And because of her, I am where I'm at today. 
And so her advice is key to me and it's very important to me. But I'm, having her on the show today also is important because this is, a, now this is a white woman who saw on a post that I paid, an ad that I put and paid for, how I was being uh, racially disrespected. And she defended my honor. A white woman. That she felt the comics were that gross that she had to get, she had to say something about it. Because you know why? I'm a public figure now. So I have to watch what I say. I can't respond. It was you and it was my cousin, Garrow, who, uh, who act, it was you and the other person that was there was that was my cousin, the other person that was support. You know, and I really appreciated that. You guys don't even know how much I appreciated it. But the ideal here, y'all, we have to network together. We have to pull our resources and our information and we need to create some type of network that we can all pull in. Because guess what? If we don't, we will be swallowed by these big bullies. Well, I told you, um, uh, I'm going to send you that article. My cousin is a uh, Jewish American. Yeah. Uh, he's a lawyer in New York City and he won a $30,000 I need your assistance. Well, you, you know what I am. You know, I, tr I got in contact with some government agencies who have never responded back to me. I contacted the, the Federal Trade Commission. I contacted the uh, FCC. You know, these numbers that they provide for consumer, whatever, is bullshit. They're only there as a means of transparency, but in reality, they offer no assistance and support for you. Yes. We can only support each other. Band together. If there's anyone out there, anyone, who is being bullied, shut down by pay, PayPal, please leave your information. Please. Because I will... Put together some type of form to come up with a class action against them. Well, exactly. If you say something that Facebook doesn't want you to say, they ban you. They 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 block you. You know what's really but funny is this: the new laws. The, I guess, I guess the Fifth Amendment doesn't apply. To the, well, I mean, uh, but Facebook doesn't give a fuck about our Fifth Amendment rights. Why would they? Let me tell you something. The only company out here that is supportive of the black man is Microsoft. Microsoft go above and beyond. They don't care who you are. They are about keeping you happy. They are about making sure you succeed. Microsoft. Okay. Let me give you another example. Bank of America will go above and beyond for you. Above and beyond. I remember when they started in Atlanta, Georgia, when I lived there. And they were, like, I think it took over Nations Bank, which was a black owned bank. Well, so they saw, so they say anyway. ABCO, Federal Credit Union, do not use that bank. It's a scam. They don't answer phone calls. Your ATM cards don't work. Money mysteriously disappear. Do not use ABCO, Federal Credit Union. Band together if you have an account with them. I suggest you move your account. Yes, I agree. I agree. People don't seem to understand this. Just because people have a logo, just because this is a business, just because they present ideals in front of you does not mean it's legal. People, right. you know, some people might think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I am about making sure that everybody gets a fair shake. Let me tell you something. All my life, I tried my best 
to try to create something of mine. Finally, I have done that. And each day, there is one step more I have to challenge or go through or deal with. Now, here's another slide. Let me give you a scheme they have out here, guys. Have Apple gave me a refund yesterday of $375. Do you know how many apps I was being charged for that I haven't used or never had in years? These companies are debiting your account. These companies know Postmates, all of them, they are aware that they know that you are not using those, those accounts, that you deleted them. They have found a way where, you know, they give you a free trial and you decide, okay, I don't want it after the free trial. And you try to, you know, uh, check that selection and you thought to get, but you didn't. And they're still charging you six months later. You thought you had $400 in the bank, but guess what? Them big companies that manipulated you, they stole your money under the umbrella that you gave them permission. People, permission starts at first. But when you say, no, I've decided not to take this product now, that's not permission, it's fraud. And if any bank that tells you differently, it's lying. Conversation. I had with APCO. I asked APCO, the female Spanish woman, I asked, first of all, I contacted APCO 20, uh, 48 hours ago about money in my account that I couldn't access and I couldn't get the money off. And she, uh, so they said, okay, we'll call you right back 24 hours later. First of all, bitch, I called you today, not yesterday. Why do I have to wait 24 hours for you to call me back? Then when I do get a call back, you know what they say? Um, oh, I can't give you the number to whoever's debiting your account because uh, you know I have to protect the you know privacy of these businesses. Excuse me, bitch. The fuck you mean you can't give me the number when a company is debiting my account for money I did not out that I did not authorize? But she told me it was legal. Now, I called the bank today and told them, I want the bitch fired. How are you a supervisor? And you are advising me to shut up and do it your way. I tried to use my card yesterday to buy me a pack of cigarettes. I was denied. But I sat there and watched them take payment from a company that I did not even authorize to take money off my card. Oh, wow. I can't buy cigarettes. I couldn't send my nephew money for transportation because what? Nephew, tune in, comment. Because you know what? My nephew was right there with me. $32 came out, $5 came out in my face. Why I'm on the phone with the company that handles their ATM, ATM cards. Oh, your card is not locked. I don't know why. Well, explain this to me then, because I'm not at the store. I'm using the numbers like everybody else is using, and they're getting through, and I can't. No, she put a block on my account for me. That woman specifically tried to control my money. And I will be contacting the banking uh, uh, commission right here in New Jersey. Please do not use APCO, Federal Credit Union. Last year, people lost their money. They couldn't use their ATM for weeks. They didn't get somebody on the phone for months. But they were taking your money out. Do not use ABCO Federal Credit Union. People, I was on the phone with an ATM. I've been with ATM, uh, AT&T for years. 
I contacted AT&T because of agreement that they made that they did not honor. And I was called a nigger by one of their supervisors. And AT&T never responded. Never. AT&T took my money. Let me tell you what they did, honey. You know how you get those agreements, honey? Those agreements say, um, what can those agreements say? Oh, buy one, get one free. Get yourself a, you know, a, the newest iPhone or the newest iWatch. You are so gullible, you jump up, you go get that iPhone, you go get that iWatch, and, you know, months later you find out it's not free. You're actually paying for both phones, full price. But that's not what they use to get you in there. Or let me say this, I traded in my cell phone. I was told I'm going to get $750 for a trade-in. I never got it. Never got it. They took my phone that was paid off. Told me I couldn't get it back because it was already gone. Never gave me a credit on my account. And then I had to be called a nigger by one of their supervisors. AT&T. She, she called you the actual N-word? It was a guy. Yeah. He, he, he called me a bitch-ass nigger is what he said. And I, I, I put an ad out. You ever saw that ad I put out? Yeah. Yeah. But you now you got AT&T keep sending me emails. Oh, please come back. Big kiss my ass, AT&T. You don't care about black people. You allow one of your associates to call your customer a, a nigger, a big ass nigger. And you was okay with that. I need people who come on late, share the video. Like it. If you want to donate, there's a push button down there. You want to send some love, a dollar ninety nine to start it out. Please do. I need all the support I can to keep these videos coming. But I promise you, I will inform you. I promise you, I will get to the bottom of it. If you need some help getting at these government agencies, come call me. Huh? DD Corner will get the job done. I am not your enemy. I'm your friend. I want to see everyone succeed out here. I want you to have your own business. I will help you get there. Yes. I will help you navigate this tough system that keeps beating me down, but I keep kicking another door down. Shopify payments comes across as a scam. Everything is tied to this and tied to that. It's about money. If you don't have the resources or the education and time to invest, do not deal with platforms and e-commerce and anything dealing with drop shipping. They will plant in your head how this is good and this is that. It's not. It's a lot of work. A lot of work that you have to correct that has nothing to do with you. Already fighting the odds that you're not even being seen. The only social media network that I can say that gives you the opportunity is Pinterest. Black people, minorities, women, own businesses. If you want to advertiser. Let me tell you something. I only paid $50 in seven months on Pinterest. And my website received over 500,000 views a month. I paid thousands of dollars to Google and over to Facebook and I don't get half that. Please explain. And all they're doing is taking your money. Mm -hmm. I think Google has a thing that if you challenge any of their payments, they will shut you out of their system. Mm -hmm. So you can't challenge Big Father Google. And Facebook, 
Oh yeah, Facebook is just a mouthpiece because Facebook falls in line with Google. So whatever Google says, Facebook does. Facebook is a monkey see monkey do. Period. Now you want to create a platform like everybody else. Stop being like everybody else, Facebook. And stop denying suppressing the Americans' Fifth Amendment right. That those new laws made by Congress were made for those foreign countries that were taking advantage of our voting system. And now they're using them against you, the, the consumers, to censor your thoughts, your words, your rights. People, you like to chain in here on Jessica? Say it again. Would you like to tune in on here? I mean, listen, you got something to add here. I mean, you know. I have, I have a cookie order right now. I'm trying to get out by Now here we got a single white woman with children who has a baking business. And she does everything. And she's always running into problems. These companies are not offering you uh, solutions. They offer you more problems at the cost of your banking account. And all you businesses that think you're not being affected because you think you're doing okay right now, you're not. Because the other people and businesses that it is affecting are not calling you for business. So it will always trickle down and affect you. People. Black people. If you're sitting around waiting on the government to what? Give us money for all the suppression they did for us? It's not happening. We have to get up and we have to make our own way. Kick down the wall if you have to. Yep. Stop spending your money on these big companies. Right? Oh, and, and, and you know what, Jessica? I'm the wrong, I'm the I'm I'm the I'm the wrong person that ever really I don't really ever suggest racism. I have a lot of white friends. I was raised in a very upscale community and I didn't go through all that. And I feel sorry for my ancestors that had to suffer the hands of abuse and racism. But let me look at, I didn't go through that. So I didn't take it as serious. But when I got older, my older years, now I'm starting to relate and see things. So when I say Black Lives Matter, I'm also including the white people that are in our community that struggle like we do. I'm also talking about them. Because those are the ones that struggle with you. They're not against you. I don't know what they call them, the blue eyes. The blue eyes are the, they're the reigning race, I think they call themselves. Right. If you don't got blue eyes, you just as black as we are. That's what they say. Well, honey, they must be contacts, baby, because guess what? Uh, uh, you know. People, I want to do a shout out to Alnisa Hall. She's another young black woman with children. And she struggles every day to keep her business afloat. She is a wonderful cook. Amazing. And she's always running into issues. No solutions. They bully her. They shut her out. But that woman, she strives every day. She keeps it moving. And she do it with a smile. So kudos for Alnisa Hall. Because she raises those kids by herself. She runs that business by herself. And she do it. Because she says, I'm not going to sit here and wait on the government to take care of me. I'm going to make my own way. I hear that. 
Jessica also is a cook, and we are going to put together our show for you coming up in the upcoming weeks. And she will be the she will be the cook for that show. And when I tell you she can cook, she can cook. Yes. I want to give shout out to young black entrepreneurs who are designing clothing, who are trying to pave a way for themselves. Check in TikTok. Check in Instagram. Check in Facebook. I need guys to share this post. I'm not an angry black bitch. I am a minority who is trying to make a living and provide the necessary resources and information to the people out here who are most affected so they can get that information. That's why I'm a friend. Oh, they may silence this video. They may silence me on Facebook like they already do. But you're hearing it now. Your friends are the ones who keep close to you. Those business associates, they're not there for you. They're there for what they can get out of you. Granted, my business is growing. But with the constant threats, listen, I may have people doing this. I may have chargebacks. But the threat of a company like Pay, uh, PayPal who dominate, who dominates you and control you, you could be out of business in days. And they don't give a fuck. They will lock you out of your system. People, tune in. The world is not the place it was when you woke up today. It is different. Well, listen. You see them people, you see all them kids being shot up? Yes. Yeah. I don't know what the world's coming to. I don't, know, I don't even know where the protection is. Nobody's protecting nobody. Exactly. Nobody's here helping nobody. Uh -huh. Honey, and I don't know what the president is doing, but he's just rubbing his hands and he's letting Russia do what the fuck they want. Are you scared? Apparently, you're scared of the big the big box companies. Oh, I'm sorry. I think you want their money for next year's vote. People, wake up. The government is not your friend. More importantly, those big box companies are not your friends. I don't see how the big box company applied for all this money they got from the government and they offered no type of cushion or discount to the American people who suffered the most behind keeping their bills paid when they could not get a job. And you would think that the, with the resources that AT&T had, most of their staff were at home. How do you not have time? You're in your most comfortable situation. And you can't get nothing done. Nothing. They overcharge you and they take your money. And they know they're overcharging you. And when you find out about it, they shut you out. Stop giving your phones back. That's not a benefit for you. It benefits them. You pay, you're spending... <laughs> right. Let me tell you something. I basically gave AT&T a brand new iPhone 11 Plus to upgrade to another phone. My phone is paid off, no cracks, nothing. I didn't get no rebate. They took my phone, period. Bullied me. That's what they did. And you think you got a new phone. That's why you running around like a broke bitch. You act like you don't. You ain't never had nothing. 
Stop paying attention to these deals out here. And stop acting all gullible. Because that's what they're looking for. A gullible dummy. Stop attaching your credit cards to these apps. Because they will get you. Everybody wants what's in your pocket. And you'll never get your money back. People, wake up. The government are not putting in safeguards for you. They're putting in loopholes for the big companies to get away, continually get away with their bullshit. That we can get. Those laws are not there to protect you. Those laws are loopholes for the big companies. I'm going to need you to tune in. I'm going to need you to share this live. And as a life coach, I think it's only my duty to come to you and bring to you the truth. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Fuck you. Period. Wake up. They're not giving you no, no interest fucking loan. First time buyer. That ain't for you. It's about them. First time buyer program. What? People. Love yourself enough to do some more digging into the facts. And seeing the reality. That means you got to be a little bit patient. Be patient. Don't settle. Because guess what? When you settle for something, you're not going to be happy with it. So if you're not happy with it, you're not going to put the investment in it. Then you look at it like, oh, I don't wasted my money. No, you wait. Yeah, you did, dummy. Just like we got these scamming ass niggas out here in your pockets playing these games and these roles, and then want to play victim. It's the same thing that these companies do. They abuse us, and they spit us out. They use us, and they get rid of us. Then we're becoming, oh, uh, you know, we're problems. We're this, we're that. I need people to tune in and be real with themselves. Is anybody really giving you this information? You know what, Jessica? People will shut you out when you're giving them valuable information. But you know what they won't do? They won't stop listening to an idiot who's only leading them to a well that's been already dry. And now you mad because you've been led to this well and ain't no water in it. Bitch, that's your motherfucking fault. These big box companies are controlling us. They control everything. So you have no means of escaping. So we need to form some type of network, support group, resources, and pull them together to help one another instead of beating each other apart. Instead of being jealous of the next person. You jealous of an ideal that you see, but you don't see the struggle behind that ideal. You don't feel the headaches behind those ideals. The energy you put in to be jealous of the next, put that energy into yourself and maybe you will see what they go through. I, did, I, did I say something wrong, Jessica? No. no. How is the cookie business going, baby? I need some kiss your algorithm, right? You Any know. questions with your algorithm at all? No. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You know, I'm not going to be discouraged because people didn't come to this live and they're not here. If they didn't show up, then it was their loss. But at the end of the day, I'm going to continue speaking out. I'm not going anywhere. 
How many YouTubers are out there, honey, who are creators, who are monetized, and who haven't got paid? I've been monetized, I think, of since December. And I got all this money I'm supposed to get, and I've never got a dime to my account. But Google keeps going to my bank trying to take money from me. But they haven't paid me for the 48 videos I have up there. And over five, I got over 500,000 views. And I haven't made a dollar. But I monetized them. Another big company tricking you, you know, fucking you over is what they're doing. They haven't paid you yet? No, I haven't paid not one dollar. Not one dollar. Right. But you said, guess what? You will send an ad out through Google and you and mysteriously you got you gotta pay them three hundred dollars. For an ad that only went out there for a couple of days, whatever. You got more views on your web, on your video than they have on their ad, but you are not making anything and they're making or charge you all this money. People out there, I'm looking for small businesses who are being taken advantage and shut out and shut down by PayPal, by PayPal. I'm looking for small businesses who are being, you think you're paying for ads or you're putting things. First of all, Facebook, I don't know how to read your analytics. And trust me, there's nothing dumb about me. But your analytics are not realistic. And they're confusing at best. And where are these people that you're finding? You're finding country-bound people that are not my audience. And they're liking this, and they're liking that. I don't get it. Because I get more likes when I send my own stuff out. Uh -huh. Not you. Facebook, you're not giving me likes. You're playing in my face. And either why your statistics are not matching up. Period. People, these people, everybody's creating the same thing. Why? It's money in it. Facebook got a platform. You, uh, pay, uh, 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 PayPal got a platform. YouTube got, uh, got a platform. Everybody wants to play the same game. And the only big box company out there, like I said to you, that will go above and beyond. Let me tell you something. Microsoft sat on the phone with me day and night. Microsoft called me when I was too tired to get a job done. That is a company that wants to see you do something with yourself. And Bill Gates, or whoever owns Microsoft now, he, they, you know, he has, no, he, he gains nothing by wanting you to do anything, honey. He's a part of the 3%, 1%, or whatever they want to call him. But he does it. He uses his resources and his companies to bring you in. Because he wants everybody to share. Oh, not Apco. They want to take your money. Not at and They allow their people to call you a nigger. They don't respect the black man and they less likely respect the working class. Period. I remember when at and was robbing you when it was called Singular. Period. And now they can change their name back to escape that to come back to rob you again. I have been a faithful customer to AT&T. I have bought a lot of phones from AT&T, paid in full, and they still fucked me. They don't care about good customers. They care about money. Period. I don't get it, uh, Jessica. I don't get it. There are a lot of people out here who want to do something. The system is not divine for you. Unless you have the ability to 
take a long look at the system, to walk around the system to get there. The government will not act as a band-aid to protect you. But they will definitely invest money to keep you down. I'm a struggling black-owned business. I can't even get a loan. I can't get nothing. But I still keep my doors open for everyone. I'm barely making a dime on the things that I pay for. You know why? Because I want consumers to know it's about love and it's about the needs of the community and not about me. Period. I already got two strikes against me, honey. I'm black, huh, and I'm gay, according to them. But this black gay motherfucker, honey, is educated. Different. Yes. I might sound dumb, but bitch, I'm far from stupid. <laughs> you do not sound dumb. Well, you know, I'm just giving them a little show. <laughs> Let them think that, because I'm far from that. If anything, honey, I am definitely an average. I am somebody you want in your corner because I am definitely somebody that will fight for you. Yes, oh, I make the, you may not. One, one of the ones that I can have an intellectual conversation with. And I, you know, and I appreciate that. And you don't even you don't even know how important it was for me on those many occasions when I was able to call you up and we've had those open conversations. You know, because I don't get that many conversations with intelligent people. I'm surrounded with these people who want to outsmart. How are you going to outsmart me and you don't even know how to get the cheese out of the trap? Oh. Bitch, you didn't outsmart me. If a mouse can get cheese from a trap and you can't, huh, who was outsmarted? You, bitch. Because the first thing is, I'm not putting no cheese on a fucking trap. That's feeding a motherfucker. I, my, 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 listen, I got better things for my money on it from cheese for a trap. <laughs> Period. People are really stupid. And this is what the American, this is what the American government and these big box companies are hoping for. They are expecting you to continue to be in the dark. Because you stuck on wearing a uh, gate cheese. Or you stuck on being concerned with, you know, oh, I got to do this to that. Bitch, fuck that shit. Because at the end of the day, honey, when you're left alone, all you have is your Gucci. And that ain't paying a bill. It ain't. And I help out a lot of people. I invest in so many people. You may not like my directness, but at least it's real. At least I say it to your face. And what I say comes with love, but it's direct. I am here hoping that each of us make it through that door. There's a young female. Over there in Camden. And she cooked her ass off. I, uh, my girlfriend Shy's mother. I hope she brings back that cooking this summer. And we support our people. Our community. If you have a business, let me know. I'll give you a shout out. If you need support, networking, information, I will help you get it. If you need resources and trying to get things together for your business, I'll help you. See, I'm not here to keep the, per to keep the person depressed and, and suppressed. I'm here to uplift the community. But I'm not going to patronize you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And I'm not going to make you feel. I'm not here to protect your feelings. Fuck your feelings. I'm here to make sure that you are okay as a person. That you can survive. That you're getting the right information. Period. You let your mother 
address your emotions, your feelings. That's not my job. But what is legally correct, what is legally right, what you are owed, that is my job as, you know, someone who, as a public a figure, my job is to give you the right information. If I have access to that, if I have knowledge of that, information is free. Take your hat off, shut your fucking mouth, and listen sometimes. Hello? Yes. You listen to that bullshit, listen to something that's going to help your ass. Yes. But we too stuck on letting niggas put us in a corner like we fucking baby. I'm not fucking baby, and I'm not going to nobody's fucking corner. Huh. Now, you can dirty dance that with somebody else. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Jessica, are you baby? Am I what? Are you baby? Am I baby? Yeah. Baby? Then stop letting people put you in a corner. Exactly. Yes. Yes. No, I am not baby. Please. Baby got tired of her daddy telling her what the fuck to do. Set your ass down, daddy. Uh -huh. People, wake up. We are more intelligent than we want to believe. Use what God gave you at the best that you can use it for. A business is anything that you are able to put together and make a stable income. Do not allow people to take that from you. It's hard. It is. It's hard to make it out here. I, you know what? Actually, I'm really proud of a lot of young black men and women and all young. These new generation of people, white, black, Spanish, all of them, they are stepping outside of the box and they are trying new ventures and they are building their own empire, struggling on Instagram. With their, with, you know, they're, they're, they're creating their own designs, their own marks, and you know some of them we're, we're getting they, we get some community, we get some you know support, but they don't know the struggle that they go through. I know your struggle. I know it. And let me explain one other thing, main to you guys: your people around you the most are the ones that will not support you. That energy, you need to decide who around you you need to get rid of because they will bring you and drive in the most negative energy to keep you not focused on your prize. And that could be mommy, daddy, brother, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. You know, I hoped that people tune in and ask questions and did something. Shit, do you share this live, Al Three? Yeah. Did you share it, uh, 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 Jessica? Yeah, I'm gonna give it another few minutes because I really want people to know. Yeah, Jessica, let me ask you a question. So, I tried to send my nephew some money yesterday, right? Right. My cart wasn't working. Now, then I'm calling, you know, the 800 or behind the debit card, and um, they're saying that, oh, there's nothing wrong with your card. You might have spent too much. I didn't spend shit because I didn't use my card in 48 hours. So I'm telling you, you know I didn't because you can see the transaction. They ask you dumb questions. You see that, right? So, but they allow other people to continue to debit your money and refuse you to get it. Then it will hang up on you. Like what you're talking about is not important. They got a job because you put your money in their bank. And they'll tell you, we will give your money to anybody who uses your who uses your number, but you can't touch it. Does that sound like a scam to you? Right. Yeah. 
But if you were Facebook, they would give it back to you. Even though I have a restraining order against the person, too. I don't get that. Yeah. And, and look, and the lady said to me yesterday... Right, and because it came access from your phone, ain't nobody supposed to have it. You know, people are conning. People will sit behind you and look for your pen and do that, and they know that. They're looking for an escape to get out without paying you. That's all. They want some type of excuse not to honor their agreement with you, which, in my word, that's a breach of contract for you to go all outside your way to find reasons to deny the American consumer their rights that you implemented in the contract. Exactly. That should be a crime. Well, you know, some people are scam artists. This is what they do for a living. Right. But these banks and these companies need to be held at a higher standard. They do. You ever notice if you call the, the let's say you had a store. And you call the cops. Who do the cops go to? You or the store? It's the assumption is that this is a store. So they must be in the right. And the store could be in the wrong. Uh -huh. But you as the consumer are looked at by the police department as the vagrant, the criminal. And you were the one that was the crop. I know. Isn't that something? It sure is. Value our truth. That's about the way they come here. I had a charge that I, there was five charges that I disputed. And they said they shut my account. And they said the dispute denied. They said what? When I had I had five charges on my PayPal that I did not that I did not do, okay? So I disputed them. And they shut my account saying that there was some kind of like fraudulent activity or suspicious activity. And then they immediately denied those claims to get my money back. So they, they shut my account. Wow. Well, they had an account that they attached to mine. Someone must have opened, I don't know, I don't know if it was a name variation or what it was. And they tried to attach it to me and say, oh, but somebody did this and that. Well, what that got to do with me? So they froze my account. Then they, you know, sent me an email out. You know, they said to me, oh, we're sorry, you know, that this happened, that, you know, you're not responsible, we, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? My accounts are still frozen and locked. Here's the other part. But they're still taking money for my customers. Then, the customers get upset because I don't have the means to finalize their order because PayPal is keeping the money in there, you know. So, now the customer files for uh, a uh, chargeback. Yeah. They charge me for those chargebacks. Yes. So now... PayPal, you are the person who processes payment. Now you're making money on a chargeback. You're making money on the fee that it was the transact or five, whatever percentage it is for them to make that transaction. And you will never touch your money. And the customer don't get the product. So you lose business. And you lose that customer. And Facebook, I mean, uh, PayPal makes their money. Please explain to me. How is that fair? It's just it's some straight bullshit. And it seems like the government allows PayPal to exist with as a bank in a different format. So PayPal, in essence, is an independent banking system like the Federal Reserve. 
how is that possible? Thousands, thousands of black, of minorities, of poor folks, small businesses are being blocked out by PayPal. Are they, are they FDIC insured now? PayPal is on, your money is not safe at PayPal if you do not have a debit card. So if you get a debit card through PayPal, then you your money is protected by the FDIC. Okay. But if you do not have, but if you don't have a debit card or your bank is not attached there, they, you're sucked. PayPal can take your money. That's a bully. A mob. I don't even know if PayPal is in this country. Because every time I do get them on the phone, it's some foreigner on there playing in my fucking face. It sounds like they are from the Philippines when oh, I used to talk to them. Right. As big as PayPal supposed to be, you can't get nobody on the phone, let alone try to get your work done. They will control your money. Yeah, you can't get them on the phone now. You have to send a, you have to send a... No, you can't get them on the phone, bitch. I get them on that phone. <laughs> well, when I was having my issues with them, Daryl, I had to put a request in for a chat. And it took like 24 hours for them to start chatting with me. And then all of a sudden, I woke up, right? I was trying to take this video and submit it to my uh, Facebook, and all of a sudden it says, oh, you opt out of sharing to your platform. Why would I opt out to share to a platform that it was designed for that purpose? Instead of taking the responsibility that they did it on their own. Facebook knew what they were doing. I applied for a press pass. And I'm still waiting on that so they can't censor me. I am here to be a mouth to the people who are all the people who are most vulnerable. People who don't have a voice. Yes, you are good for that. You are. You might not like my delivery, but they will feel the impact. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Your, your delivery could be a little rough. Well, you know, I'm not... Listen, I don't know I'm a little extraordinary, honey, but that's why I'm Dee Dee fucking Carter, and you're not. That's great. You know what I mean? Okay. It's only one of us. And listen, I ain't letting nobody up censor me, honey. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say to who the fuck I want to say it to when the fuck I want to motherfucking say it. Period. Period. You get what I'm saying? Oh, hell yeah, I get you. I'm but people... You, you already know that. <laughs> that's why I fucking love you. Exactly. You know? You know, and, and, and this, this, look, this venture has been, a, has been a struggling venture for me. Uh -huh. And I haven't given up. Uh -huh. But there are still obstacles that are set in front of me. And I... Listen, I don't have no help. Where... In the world, do somebody want to invest their money into something and, and then they're subject to only dealing with, I'm sorry, um, emails in Texas? Who conducts business like that? I don't know where the fuck you at or who the fuck you are inboxing me back. I need to talk to somebody on the phone. I am required by law based on, you know, uh, 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 certain rules or whatever set up by the e-commerce that I must have a phone number provided so that customers can reach me. Well, I don't understand that these same rules that people are putting out there on us, they don't follow. Listen. Right. And likely, you have, to provide, you have to, let me get this straight. You have to provide a phone number for your business. Yes. For customers to be able to reach you. But they can't provide you a phone number because they just want to get the card. Exactly. Okay. 
Exactly. And, and it was Shopify is I have to put in a request for a phone call. Make it make fucking sense. Right. And then Shop Pay, Shopify Pay tried to shut me down. They shut up my money because they didn't want me selling hair products. <laughs> and if I was going to sell those products, I had to sell products that they wanted me to sell. Well, the place they sent me to had horrible, ugly ass wigs. Bitch, I'm not selling that shit. Well, you can't use our gateway. Well, you know what? I won't be using it. Oh, yeah, so they're trying to play Monopoly. Right. I allow, right. They offered me a loan first. That was the manipulation. Hi, Carter Breeders Urban Fashion. We have watched you over the last six months, and you have taken your business, and you have made it look. They say, I've taken my business, and I have made myself set apart from other businesses, and they see the time that I've invested, and they would like to offer me a loan for the purpose of my business. Uh, right? Right. Then, uh, the next day, right, they froze my account. What? Right. They froze my account because I had products that they did not approve for me to sell. Yeah. So I will be bringing back the adult products. I brought back the wigs. I'll bring bringing all of it back because now they don't control me. Because I control me. I'm tired of being bullied. I've been bullied much too long by simple-minded motherfuckers. Exactly. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, well, back with a B, honey. Yeah. Jessica, it is not designed for you. You know what? I used to be one of those dummies that sat around and I believed in the American dream. But what dream is it, bitch? Yeah, what do you consider a dream? Right. I mean, you know, your American dream could be different from the next American dream. And what are they offering, honey? Oh, they're offering you Section 8. What kind of American you are. <laughs> right. They'll give you Section 8. And all you got to pass down to your kid is, oh, your family split. <laughs> yeah. Right. They don't even offer the family split anymore. So you, do, you can't even offer that at your death, honey. I don't want that shit. I don't want it. Look how many Americans have lost their homes over the last 10 years. <coughs> but those companies that took advantage of you, the government, oh, now you want to jump in and you want to act like you're doing something. They didn't do anything. Most of them didn't even go to jail. And you never got your health back. Right. Yeah, they just they just had an article. Uh, some some guy got three million for PPP, and it was all it was the he got it under fictitious businesses. How the fuck did he get it? Right. When I when I legit have a business, mm -hmm. and I couldn't I couldn't get it. Right. They said, they said that they not the PPP I went for the uh, SBA EIDL. and they said they sent it to my account twice, but the bank rejected it, and then that was it. You know, Jessica, I don't share this, but I am thousands and thousands of dollars in the hole. Oh. And the what money I do make goes back into this business. I don't see a few, I don't see in the, in, in the near future any profit from this business. The only people that's making money is everybody around us. And this business was started out of love for self. Love myself by giving myself opportunities that no one else will give me. By tooting my horn when no one else would even recognize my efforts. This company was started because of people who always feel like you know, no one cared about them. They they didn't understand their needs and their wants and what they wanted. 
people who want to look good at half the cost. But with love. You get it? Yeah, I get it. I do. And those efforts are smoked by constant obstacles you have to always get through. But I'm hopeful because I'm always positive. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know? But I put in 12, to sometimes 48 hours, sometimes 72 hours straight with no sleep. Trying to make sure everything is on point. Because I know what I would expect. And when you are one man show, running it alone and by yourself. You can't even hire anyone. The first person I hired stole $5,000 out of my banking account. I almost lost my business. Because I had that to sustain myself. What the fuck? Yeah. I didn't know that. You didn't know? I didn't, I, girl, my friend, who was jealous and envious of me. Mind you, I'm paying you out my pocket, and I'm not making a dime. And you sitting around here plotting and planning to destroy me. Check in, people. I'm a voice of reasoning, but I'm a voice of love. And that same voice will be your support system. I would not say, look, I always keep my word. The one thing I am, and I may hate the fact that I did, but I'll always keep my word. Because the one thing a man can, a man has no value if his word has no substance. A man is, is, only, is only as good as his word. Right. Now, I may not huh, have all the molecules, muscles, but the, the, but the core qualities of a man, I have them. My word is my word. Yes. yes. If I, I, listen, I don't like you. You could be my girl. Business is business. Personal is personal. My word is my word. I ain't going to fight with you, honey. And no, oh, I don't got to pay you now. Bitch, I'm still going to fucking pay you. Because the one thing I will never do is have a bitch tell me that I owe her something. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. If I was able to, to collect from the many people that I have donated to, basically, I might be a millionaire by now. Jesus Christ. Right. Huh. You know? But everybody's picking honey from the apple tree. Yeah. But you're picking the wrong fucking tree. Because one day you're going to pick this tree and you're going to draw back, honey, a bunch of motherfucking thorns in your motherfucking hand. I know that's right. Stop letting motherfuckers pick you like an apple tree. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Because my, when, when it push comes to shove, you're all you got. Well, I'm tired of that push being a shove. So I'm going to be right at that motherfucking door, but you ain't shoving nothing. Well, that's what you got to remember. You're all you got. That's People, if you see a wall, kick that motherfucker down. Make a door for yourself. I learned the hard way. Shit. Ain't nobody doing nothing for you. Ain't, listen, ain't no love lost. The reality is this. Stop looking at this. Fairy cow life that they're promising you, thinking people are gonna be there for you. They're not. They ain't supposed. Uh -huh. Listen, you came in this world by yourself, big, and you're gonna go by yourself. Now you might be buried in the ground with a bunch of other people on top of your way, and that's the only company you might get. But other than that, you will buy your motherfucking self. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta love it when they gas. Like, right. Well, I got you. I got you. Bitch, don't gas me up, honey. The only thing you got is a lot of mouth and a gift to gab. But at the end of the day, exactly. you don't got me. But that's what you do. Exactly. And businesses have the gift to gab. How often do they get you dumbass customers? Period. I'm not gabbing about nothing. I get it is what it is. I will always give you the real. 
Period. So that's why, you know, don't blindside yourself with the ideal of people putting in your head that maybe I'm not quite enough, whatever. Oh, I'm correct. Whatever. I ain't crazy. Crazy is a motherfucker who think I'm crazy. Control, they're going to try and control the way others view you. Well, that's on them, right? Yes, it is. Because that means that you got enough time. I must be that important for you to want to, you, you, you want to, uh, you know, you want, you want to direct energy my way so that people will view me in a way that is dissatisfying to them. Instead of supporting me. Instead of backing me. And you know what the ideal is? Is this. They come back to you though. Because they need you. And because of your heart. You. Will not treat them the way they treated you. And you might have showed up at their door. And their table got everything on it. But they won't let you eat. But they expect you to pull a chair out at your table. I'm tired of giving out chairs. My table is closed. And I might have a whole lot of chicken on my motherfucking plate. You ain't getting none of it. And that's how you got to do people. Treat them with the same energy they give you. Well, yeah. It's not, but you know, that's actually called an emotional vampire. I can't do it. Somebody that gaslights or manipulates people to control... How they feel about you. It's called an emotional vampire. Well, it's an emotional something, honey. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, I, I, you know, I just don't get it. You know what? I was just, just bounced in my head that chargebacks have become a, and you know, that has become an expected business. Uh, 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 it, businesses count on chargebacks as a means of income. Really? Yes. Do you know that almost every single chargeback is always in the favor of the customer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I said almost. Most. It costs thousands of dollars for a business to get the assistance to fight chargeback, and they still don't win the majority of them. And then not only that, you got the fraud. People out here doing committing fraud. People out here who are lying to get a gain. And not only are you going to lose on the product and on the shipping cost, um, you're also going to lose because they're going to charge you a fee uh -huh. for the chargeback. And they're going to also keep their fee they made for the transaction. So at those transactions, you're in the hole. Oh. Period. And guess what? It wasn't your fault, though. They lied. Clearly they got it. They signed for it. Or, or whatever. Understand that the businesses are counting on that income. Oh, damn. Yeah. And... So when you think you got to gain and you gain something, think about the mom and pop over there who can't pay their business bills and they go out of business because you had to have those Gucci shoes that you, uh, 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 you know, you fraudulently got online and lied about. Now, maybe the big box company, maybe Gucci ain't the right example, but that mom and pop who takes their time in their store and who hand select what they sell and, and they try to be the best they can be their customers. You play them out, they lose out on their money and you become one of the reasons why they're in the unemployment line, why they're getting food stamps, why their kid can't go to college. Because you want to manipulate and play the system. So company, small companies have to deal with that separate and alongside of the big companies who are doing the same thing and they're calling it something else. I think 
think that's why some, you know, obviously not online, but like some stores, they don't take credit cards. And I'm assuming that's why. There's a lot of loss in credit cards. There's a lot of loss in business. Uh, and, and tech, I mean, listen, you can't even get cash these days because you, God knows you don't ever know how real they are. Huh. Isn't that something? Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up. They ain't getting no deals. I'm going to tell you this. If you knew what I paid for clothes, <laughs> you would stop buying $500 jeans from Gucci. Period. If I knew what? If you knew how much I was paying for a pair of jeans, you would stop buying five hundred jeans from Gucci. Because oh. it costs enough pennies on a dollar to sell you what they think is worth five hundred dollars, and half their shit is ugly as shit. The only thing that's cute about Gucci is its name, but a lot of those products don't. They don't matter. They don't measure up. Period. Yeah. Then, here's this. So, Shopify approves a company to be a partner with. These companies provide certain products that we invertly pay fees every month to utilize these partners for their products. They sell you an item, they put it on, you put it on your site, you get charged for an infringement charge, not the partner. So that makes sense. That doesn't no. make sense. It'll make sense to it. No. It's all pre-set up for you to lose. And then they will talk to you like you did something wrong. They will treat you like you're doing something wrong. Yeah. How are you telling me that you're not okay with me providing something from a partner you suggested I deal with? And then, so it made me look kind of scammy. They try to get your money. Everybody gets paid, but they all make sure they get paid but you. And they will not get your money back. But you're gonna give them. They, you're gonna give them yours. Shopify charged me five hundred dollars last month, which were three hundred dollars of that money was services I did not get. But they took the money anyway. I got the money back, but after I fought for it, how fair is that? It's not. It's strange. My, my collection up in those conventional no, these everybody. And you know what? If you look at the numbers, what Shopify's value is uh, uh, on the stock market. Oh, yeah. I can get why they are out here protecting these big box companies. And the first thing they say is there's nothing we can really do with a third party, uh, 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 third party app. That works along with them. No, they're not third party if they're your partner. Am I right? If you have partnership with these people, you have a stake in it. That's not a third party. So that means that you condone their actions. You condone that they are, you know, it's like um, these companies are, are supposed to supply you with a certain amount of information uh, for your products and things like that. They don't. And what happens is the hammer comes down on you for not being prepared, for not having the necessary information that you need to provide. You can't provide something that's not given to you. And they don't require it. So those companies don't make an effort to do so. So they hold you at a high standard and expect you to adhere to certain rules and legal uh, 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 whatever that they won't. And they would abandon you at the first opportunity after landing that shit right in your lap. I am going to say 
I said a lot today, but I want to encourage people this. Um, stop spending or storing your money in Abco Savings Bank. And I will get up on here every day and say that until you do. We need to boycott AT&T. We need to boycott Verizon, Ver Files, whatever you want to be called today. Stop investing your money in Facebook. Stop investing your money in Google. If they're not there to support you, do not give your money to them. Invest your efforts in Microsoft. At least Microsoft offers you so much more. Yeah. And all of that comes with one-on-one -on -one phone conversation out there. Call you 50 times a day. They will help you. They will go out and get the information. They will go the extra mile for you. If you're starting an e-commerce, you're running a business, go to Microsoft. Google don't give a fuck about you. They like your fucking money. Facebook don't motherfucker give a fuck about you. They censor you. They'll shut you down. And they'll take your money. I don't know how it's... I don't know how they're getting away with it. They're getting away with it because they got money. They are the 1%. And the government sanctions it. The government allows it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you band together, they can't do this. One mouth can get it started, but a million mouths can shut it the fuck down. I hope that the right person hears this. Anybody who is being challenged, bullied, by PayPal, get at me because I will launch a at first. I will launch a class action suit against faith, uh, PayPal that will shut them the fuck down. One mouth, multiple mouths is more than one. So I'm asking people, you got look. You got some people that will show up for you and they will make noise. That ain't your friend. You want somebody that's going to show up and show the fuck out. Oh, yeah, I ain't making noise. I'm showing the fuck out. I'm knocking down windows. I'm kicking in doors. That's the kind of friend that you want. I know you will. <laughs> and that's what people need to know. But everybody else will invest their time in a motherfucker that only <coughs> show out and get loud. That's a motherfucker who has a gift of gab, a gift of gab to impress a dummy like you to trust them. Period. 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 And on that note, because it seems like I try to bring people in, they're not interested. You're not interested in supporting yourself. You're not interested in worrying about what the big box company is doing to you. You're not interested in nothing other than what? Right. The attention of what everybody else is giving you on social media. You're concerned about stuff that don't fucking matter. But know this. You better be concerned of your rights. Because in this climax, things are about to change. And on that note, I'll see you when I motherfucking see you. Bitch, goodbye.